Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just a harpy. It was like a big motherfucker. Killed many of your kind before. Doing the same to you should be no, 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 mean, no, no easy. No, it should be easy. It should be an easy task. It should not be any big task at all, is what I meant to say. And what I did say just now. He doesn't seem all that bothered by me just hacking. Oh, just like that. He's sleepy. What the fuck is he doing? Did they knock him out or is he just like doing this right now? Whatever. <laughs> His folly is my game. Yeah, he's dead. Fuck, oh, man. I'm getting mean. Cyclops run up to my ass and I'm just like, chip, chap, chop, you're dead. Nothing. With a couple of whaps on my trusty flaming blade, you are made into nothing more, Mr. Cyclops. Goodbye. Call him big, a bad, Leroy Brown, a badass man in the whole damn town. A bad of that old King Kong. A meaner than a junkyard dog. People in town are whispering. You heard how many fucking Cyclops is this guy taking down? He's fucking cool as hell. Wish I could be his friend. Alas, he's probably too cool and far too handsome to, hey, you know, for me to bother. And that's probably why they're just all kind of, you know, hanging back in the cut and not really making a big scene It'll about it or anything. Fit. Being like so all about my ass. But, you know, they are. And I can tell. And it's... Pretty nice. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm taking around a couple of cyclops eyes or a couple cyclop eye or two. No big deal. That's how I do. That's how I do up in this world. Just making it nice and safer and less full of fucking terrible, disgusting monsters for everybody, for all you for all you nice people out there. Ah, Don't mention it, it's no big deal. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray. Yeah, it turns out I did exactly the right thing after all. Man, fuck it up. He learned his dang lesson. I got my just reward. And everything's right in the world. Fixing marriages, killing monsters. Doing the Lord's work. You know? It's all, it's all in a, it's all in a, it's all in a day's itinerary for Mr. Uncle Game Boy. The legend's greatest hero of all time. Where else on the map doth I, uh, put my... Heroic finger next to spy a new location for heroic daring do and righteous uh stuff. Ah, oh, my lovely home where I can rest rest my weary boots until the morning doth come. And a long day of saving lives and. Righting wrongs, etc. Kick back, relax, have a snack or two with my old girl Lenny in my lovely abode. Oh, I guess he did some shit while I was fucking sleeping or whatever. In another land, whatever. I don't care what she does with somebody else. It doesn't bother me at all. She wants to get with someone else. It's fine. Fine. It's fine. I'll deal with it. It's fine. It's... She knows it makes me feel emasculated when she does these things with other other players, or as she likes to call them. There's nothing I can do about it. I fall asleep and then she goes and she does things with other men, strange men that I don't know. And I don't know what they, she brings things back. She brings, she, she brings these things back with me. She brings these things back from Barry and M. Bison. And I'm just like, oh God, okay. This is your life. This is your relationship. This is what you gotta do, okay? You love this person. You love Lenny. You're committed to Lenny. Like, you know, through some sort of cosmic cosmic tether that you can't undo okay lenny is like by your side okay you cannot you cannot you cannot you cannot get rid of her or have her go with another or change this relationship in any way so you just have to make your peace with it okay and everything's gonna be okay no matter how emasculated we feel due to this situation or how how trapped we well feel inside it you know okay. everything's gonna be fine but now but it does, it does, it does wear the soul to, to, to be, to be made aware of Lenny's comings and goings and, and, and to see, to see the trinkets and the, and the, and the tokens of affection that she's brought back with her from her, her escapades, Come, if you would you call them that or what so have you with M. Bison and Barry. Lynn. But I'm not going to let it get to me. I'm going to keep being a hero. And being the guy that this world needs, and being the guy that Lenny needs, you know, and and whatever other guy she needs is is is, is they'll be there too, I guess. They'll be there too, doing whatever they're gonna do. But I'll be doing what I gotta do, all right? Don't worry, Uncle Game Boy's on it. 
Uncle Game Boy's fine. He's good even. He's better than fine. He's great. He's fucking doing everything he needs to be doing in the timely fashion that needs to be done and for the people that need it to be being done for them. Okay? And he's a happy guy. He's a fucking... He's... He's a really happy guy. All right? He's doing good. He's doing really good. He's doing... He's doing better than you think, all right? And he's having all kinds of fun adventures every single day. And experiences yeah, so that are en enriching his life all the time. All the time. And that's the truth. And you can take that to the bank or the Has doctor or the visit. judge or whoever is Probably hassling your ass well about what, how distance. I'm doing. That's as good as gold. My word is as good as... Precious gold. <laughs> oh boy. This is a silly... This is a silly place. The cities of Dragon's Dogma. Whatever this place is called. Vinderberg or some shit. It brings out a silly a silly way in my in my soul. When I'm walking these steps. All these steps of mine. Oh, I've walked these steps so many times. I know these people. I know these, these vias. These vias and roadways. Like they were the back of my dirty hands. Dirty from doing the work of the Lord. Ah, uh, it's hard dirty work. And the dirt gets under my fingernails, and sometimes there's blood and other nasty things in there as well. But they'll wash away. But you know what won't wash away? The sheen on my very soul that I feel from the, from the, from the, you know, all that good stuff I'm doing. All that good stuff that, that everyone feels inside because of what I'm doing. You live right, you feel right. You know what I mean? I think you do. All you lovely little YouTube monkeys out there sucking down your chili dog outside the Tasty Freeze, checking Diane, getting down on his knees. There's a man putting a gun in his mouth. It's a Zodiac killer. He's on the prowl. It's really unfortunate what happened to Jack and Diane. They didn't know that they were, you know, getting out into a secluded area. Far from when anyone would be able to hear what the Zodiac Killer was about to do to them. Tying them up, pointing a gun at them, you know, stabbing them repeatedly in the back. They thought they were going to have a lovely memory where they were going to make out on make out point And maybe, maybe put his seed inside her, his, his nasty teenage seed inside her. There was going to be a lot more happening that day too. More like getting stabbed 47 times with a knife and not getting, you know, stabbed with, with his pork sword. It's real sad. It's real sad what happened to Jack and Diane. And the Zodiac Killer. And he was never even caught. Isn't that crazy? He was a bad dude. Little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two kids doing best they can. Ugly world out there, folks. Take it easy. Hug your, hug your babies tight. All right? Hug your baby for Uncle Game Boy. If you would. Because we all got to look out for those little babies. They know nothing. And they're weak as hell. Babies are too easy to kill. Hug your babies tight. Train your babies right. So that when someone comes for them in the night, they know how to fight. Alright? This has been Baby Safety Minute with Uncle Game Boy. Ooh, Jasper. People follow me around are like, why are we in the why are we in the fucking uh the nasty the, the nasty uh fucking reservoir or whatever this is, the sewers. We're used to watching you walk around picking through nasty bits and shit and like going into fucking Digging around in like fucking, you know, rotted piles of wood and shit and fucking nasty piles of bones of like skin hanging off of the bones and shit. But like we're in a fucking shit pit, a actual shit pit, picking around through rat guts and whatnot. I'm like, look at these fucking, did I find a fucking silver disc in a gem? I know what I'm doing, all right? You get in this shithole with me, you fucking look for, you dig around this shit too and tell me what you find. You know, it's good for you. Because I do, and I'm telling you, it's this. Digging around the sewers or whatever. You know, it's a strange sort of like set of circumstances you're in when you're a RPG hero. Because you're, you know, you're doing daring do and you're saving people from like monsters and shit. And you're like getting, getting them from point A to point B in a world full of monsters and all that crazy crap. But you're also just like digging around for every little fucking thing you can find. And you're just like, eh, what's this? What's in here? Oh, ooh, maybe there's a little like a fucking opal or something in this pile of shit. You're just like this like grubby little... Sort of like metal detector motherfucker or something, just like trying to so, you've come. trying to find whatever fucking Captain little Brant bits they can and like you know gather together like some kind of fucking magpie or something. It's weird. 
This is weird. So it's like if I if I knew a guy that acted like like this guy, I'd be like, "What's your deal, dude? You're fucking. Why am I even hanging out with you? I can't be doing this. I can't be hanging out with this fucking weirdo. He gets up to some crazy. You see, you see some. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see some crazy shit hanging with this guy for sure. I mean, it's like the experiences I've had with this guy are like no other. You know, look, we're fucking like being attacked by big rats and stuff. But at the, at the same time, I'm like, I'm also like, what am I doing here? It's like all these rats and stuff. This guy just gets in some nasty places, and it's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ever, I'm not gonna ever, I'm not gonna ever meet some. What the hell? <laughs> I must have fucked up something. I fucking picked up something this guy didn't want me to pick up. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. I screwed up. I screwed up hard. I was just walking around picking through everything I could find. They're like, you can't take that particular thing. I'm like, oh, god damn it. I was just in the sewers sticking around. Start over. Start over. Do over. Do over Dragon's Dogma. D-O-D-D. Do over Dragon's Dogma. Sometimes you gotta do it because sometimes you fuck up the world and they like hassle your ass for it and... It makes traveling around hard, makes it too hard to do. Unlike other situations where it's like, you can't come here anymore. You were too violent and aggressive and you're stealing everything in the place and now we want to fucking cut you to pieces or whatever. Usually in the real world, you can't go back to a place like that no matter what you do. But here you just turn the fucking game off and you turn it back on and then it's like, everything's fucking cool. I, I said everything was cool. I said everything was cool. I said everything's gonna be cool. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? It's fucking bullshit. I guess I gotta go back further. I gotta go back further. So I didn't take anything from this booger of a person who's so freaking pissed at me that he's gotta fucking shoot arrows at me indoors it's extremely rude and it's like unsafe and you're gonna hurt yourself and me and everyone else in here you got a problem with me buddy take it outside all right that's all i'm saying we're indoors we're indoors okay let's have, let's have indoor indoor decorum 